Hi everyone, Armine Bazikian here from Bazikian Law Group. This month we wanted to discuss what you should do if you were previously a single individual and now your marital status has changed because you got married. So now you're a married person, right? A married man or a married woman. Um, so in this video we want to talk about what changes legally for you and why it is very, very important to update your estate planning documents. So uh, once you get that marriage license in California, your rights uh, are altered and so are the rights of the person that you married, right? Because you have a spouse now, there are different rules and obligations that apply to you. So if you have an estate plan in place, it's extremely important to review your estate plan and amend it after you're married. Um, and I don't mean amend it because you want to add your new husband or your wife to your estate plan. Even if you don't want to include them in your estate plan, even if you're not planning on giving them anything at your death, you still need to amend your trust document, right? You still need to go ahead and review and make changes to your estate plan. And I'll tell you why. It's really, really important because in California, we have what's called an omitted spouse statute. And this is just a law that we have in the probate code. Um, and it's rightfully called omitted spouse. And what this is, is it allows your significant other that you've now married, so your spouse, it allows your spouse to petition the court and say, hey, I married him and he forgot to put me in his estate planning documents, so I am entitled to a certain interest of his estate, right? This gives your spouse, as the omitted spouse, as the spouse who was left out, um, a legal right to take a certain portion of your estate automatically without you having to do anything. So let's play this out with an example. So let's say John was single. John came to me, we did his estate plan. And in his estate plan, he wrote, I'm giving everything to my two children from a previous relationship and no one else. Then John calls me up and says, hey, I'm getting married next year. And I say, wonderful, we need to amend your trust when you get married. John forgets about me. He gets married, he goes off on his honeymoon, and sadly, um, I don't know, something happens on his honeymoon and he doesn't come back, he passes away. At John's death, right, his new wife, after his death, can actually file an omitted spouse petition with the probate court and say, hey, dear judge, I am legally the wife of John, and before we had a chance to come back from the honeymoon and update his documents, he died. So please give me what I am entitled to by way of the law. And in that case, it would be one third of John's entire estate, even the stuff that's in his trust, right? Because we just frankly have no proof that John didn't want to give her anything. So let's say John had told me like, hey, I don't want her to get anything. And I said, okay, when you get married, we need to update your documents. Like you need to sign it after the marriage. And John forgot about me, right? Even my testimony in court isn't really going to help her, uh, his kids because she is going to have a stronger case with this omitted spouse statue. So she's going to already just be automatically entitled. Um, so let's kind of play this out if John did it correctly. So let's say he got married and before he whisked away um, and took his bride on his honeymoon, he came to my office and we signed a very simple amendment to his estate plan. And the amendment said something like, you know, I'm now a married man but everything else in my documents stay the same. Nothing else changes. I just wanted to put on paper that my legal status went from single to married. That's it, nothing else changes. I'm not giving my wife anything. My, my two kids still get everything in my estate. He went and he passed away. His wife would not be able to file an omitted uh, spouse petition because even if she did, we have evidence of his mental state that he did not intend to give anything because he went in and he saw his attorney after his marriage date. We have evidence of after his marriage date of his mental intent to not give anything to his new wife or you know the spouse. So that's very, very important. Um, I think people a lot of times get overlooked when it comes to um, making sure that they do this amendment or maybe they don't understand it. So it's very important um, if your legal status changes, you need to update your documents. And the same goes for divorce, but we'll talk about divorce in a different video. For now, the takeaway from this video is if your legal status has changed from single to married and you have an estate plan in place, you need to revisit and uh, change or possibly amend your estate plan post-marriage, after your marriage date, after you say I do and your marriage license goes into effect, you need to sign an amendment uh, evidencing your wishes, whether that's to include your spouse, but most especially to exclude if that's what you wish, you have to have that done. 
So be very, very careful. Get it done correctly. Um, of course, our firm is happy to help whether you're our client or not and you have a trust in place and you want to make these changes or do an amendment to your estate plan. We'd be happy to jump on board and help you. So give us a call. We offer free consultations.